Hey! Have you ever heard the old saying, a jack of all trades and an expert at nothing? Yes. So what are we talking about? Um, let's talk about real life analogs to certain photography optical equipment. Um, remember that Amphibicar that they only made a few hundred of? It was, uh, you're able to seal it up, it would uh, drive like a crappy car, a really crappy car, and uh, you uh, flip some switches and a little outboard motor would come out and then uh, you could just boat right into the water and it was a really crappy boat and a really crappy car, it's called an Amphibicar. And uh, there's a couple other devices like that being made. They're insanely expensive. They're, they're, uh, they work in several different categories, but they don't work good or excellently in any category. There's actually a new variety of car slash airplane, and it's a crappy airplane and a crappy car. I think it costs like $180,000. You know, it'll turn into a crappy car, and it'll turn into a crappy airplane. Um, the nature of glass is irreducible. While we have better lenses now than we had 60 years ago, and we have better coatings, we have better corner-to-corner -corner sharpness and less chromatic aberration, what is unavoidable is the nature of glass. Um, someone recently, actually a couple people, especially the idiots over on Diaper and P Review, were uh, berating me for talking about uh, the electrical nature of glass. Uh, this video is not about the electrical nature of glass, by the way. Because um, they didn't understand it, and nobody that's into photography knows about glass's properties. And uh, someone was actually saying, well, you know, glass is, uh, you know, uh, especially modern glass is just not silicon. You know, it's just not SiO2, it's not just glass, there are a lot of, there's ED glass, and there's, yeah, well, that's like saying coffee isn't water, but it's still 98% water, so the nature of coffee is irreducible, it's 98% water. Um, current glass is far above 98%, but it is still, it's still glass. The nature of glass is irreducible. It is uh, just shy of 100% glass and therefore the properties, mechanics, attributes of glass are irreducible. So glass today and its properties is the same as glass, you know, a hundred years ago in optical equipment. Things have gotten better in certain manifestations and we've got less chromatic aberration, blah, 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 blah. It's still glass. Um, but that's not the point of this little video. The point is I get asked a lot of questions about super zooms and uh, ultra zooms. What's a super zoom? Well, a super zoom basically is anything with a decent range, like a 24 to 120, and an ultra zoom. There's no defined range. Like an ultra zoom is like an 18 to 200 or the 28 to 300. Now, I happen to own both of those lenses, and uh, they're the same thing as the Amphibicar. You know, the 28 to 300, 20 to 300 by the way, is an expensive lens. I mean, it's a thousand dollar lens, and it actually has a lock on it because once you uh, zoom that sucker out from 28 to 300, I mean, it goes like. Whoosh, like that. Um, yeah, well, that's not the issue with the lens. The issue with those lenses is that they're good, kind of good, and about 80% of the range that they have, but they're always soft and fuzzy on either end, and they don't actually go to a true 300. They go to about like 270, 280, depends on which lens it is, but they're never excellent in any range. Someone says, well, I want one lens that'll do it all. Well, there's a secret for you. There's no such thing. Those lenses don't exist. If you want a lens that's going to be excellent throughout that range, you're going to have to split it up amongst primes and zooms because these lenses, you know, will produce excellent images for Facebook. They're not going to produce excellent images in general. And uh, that's an inescapable fact. If you want to crop them and reduce uh, out the... Uh, you know, the blurriness, corner to corner, that's fine. Um, I mean, are they really good lenses? Yeah, it depends on what you define as really good. For a thousand dollars, I mean, 28 to 300, even though I have the lens, and I think it's a really good lens, especially considering the range, the fact is, is that you shouldn't be seeking those lenses, unless you already have a spectrum of lenses that cover that range already. It's like, well, I don't want to be buying three or four lenses. This is an issue everybody wants to talk about. 18 to 200, I want one lens that's going to do it all. Well, you could also buy one of those amphibic cars. You know, it's also a boat. It's also a car. Um, but it's a crappy car and it's a crappy boat. So if you buy an ultra zoom, like an 18 to 200, 28 to 200, especially these. Re Nikon's got a new 200 to 500 out. And it's got some other uh, Sigma 
Sigma's got this abortion of a lens. I forget what the coverage is, like 100 to 600 millimeter. It's just ridiculous. It's just an abortion. It's just, it's just an abysmal, abysmal piece of crap. And you're getting a piece of crap. You're just getting a giant lens that is uh, halfway decent at that range from uh, near to far, but it's not any damn good at any particular focal. And uh, they're all heavy, so the nature of optics is irreducible. We have ED glass now, we have nano coating, we have aspherical, superior aspherical elements, what we had, although aspherical elements are still extremely expensive to produce, in glass anyway. Um, a couple of Nikon's lenses have plastic aspherical's in them to reduce uh, cost, production costs. So, as so far as the ultra zooms go, the answer is no, no. Um, I should probably stop shooting videos of the 10.5 millimeter fish eye. It's getting dark late at night, and these mosquitoes are starting to bite the hell out of me. It's about 200% humidity here because the hurricane blew through, but it'll be back to normal tomorrow. But anyway, welcome to sunny southern Florida. I will catch you all tomorrow. I'm going to go in and uh, eat some uh, spaghetti and uh, respond to your comments and emails. And thanks for watching. Catch you later. Bye.